Hi everybody, it's JoJo, and I'm here to do my review for Jeffree Star Skin. Um, I'm going to put some raspberry jam down on cream for Bath and Body Works and get into it. So, I have the fan on. Um, should we make it? This doesn't seem nice, is it? No, I don't think it's noisy. Um, anyways. So I have my hair up today. Uh, I didn't even do my hair today. I didn't straighten it, didn't curl it, didn't do anything. I just literally just put it up in a clip with some hairspray and that's it. I mean, that's all I did. Um, but I did do a full face of makeup. Of course, the entire thing Jeffree Star. I mixed uh, Blood Money with Blue Blood on my eyes. And my lips is Christmas Cookie Liquid Lip with um, Be The Glass Lip Gloss by Jeffree Star. My lips. Yes. So, I know I've been M&M, M -M -N -N, not m and m what the hell am I talking about? M-I-A, M-I-A. I know I've been M-I-A for a little bit. I only uploaded a couple of quick out for the days um, recently, but nothing, I've never really, I haven't really sat down and filmed a video in a, in a, in a while. That is because um, I've just been like to myself, you know, like I've been just busy, I've been just doing my thing, and um, I really haven't found time to sit and um, film videos. But, um, I do want to talk about the Jeffree Star Skins. This is a new brand. Um, it's still connected to his website with Jeffree Star Pets and everything else. It's all connected. It's all intertwined. But it's its own separate thing. This has nothing to do with the makeup at all. It's a separate thing from the, ma from the makeup cosmetics line. So, he, um, released seven products. He released, um, a toner, moisturizer, makeup remover, eye cream, sp uh, a spray, and something else. A toner, another type of moisturizer, I don't know. Okay, so the packaging and everything is like a nude pink. It's really, really nice. I like the packaging and everything. My favorite packaging is definitely the uh, moisturizer. It's like a crystal, a nice, pretty crystal. It's jarred. It's so pretty. Um, but he sneak peeked it in like the, the cards that he sent in like the mail. Like all the products were black. So I'm thinking, oh, it was going to be all black. But um, I think he did it bl black just to like black out the products. But um, I don't think he meant to, for the products to be black, obviously. But when I got the postcard in the mail, I really thought that, oh my god, the pro all the products are going to be in this black packaging. But anyways, it's all pink, nude pink, um, really, really pretty, um, really nice, very sleek, just like anyone can use it. Um, I want to say it's unisex friendly, but it's definitely like guys can wear it, straight, whoever you are. You could definitely benefit from this, from these products. Um, now, let's talk about now. I don't have anything. Obviously, it's launching this Friday. I'm not going to get anything. The only thing I would have gotten was the makeup, the melt, the make me melt makeup remover, which is a bomb in a jar. And it comes with its own, like, scraper with, like, a magnetic scraper, which is really cool and dainty that he did that. But... Um, and I, and I do want that. I think, I think if I were to get anything, it would be that, because, um, I need a new makeup remover, you guys. I don't know, like, I like my makeup remover, I, I use Neutrogena makeup wipes, but, um, I feel like this would really take everything off on the surface. Now, I was expecting makeup removal wipes from him, and they, there's no makeup removal wipes, it's just a makeup bomb, the makeup melting bomb. So I was hoping for makeup right wipes, but of course that can come later on. I think he's just launching seven things because he doesn't know if this is going to hit or miss. So he doesn't want to launch all these new products if it's going to be a miss. You know what I mean? So, um, he's starting small and then hopefully, then he'll probably make, make more products along the way if Jeffree Star Skin does well. Um, now, um... What do I want to say? So yeah, I was disappointed there's no makeup removal wipes. I feel like that's just an easy thing to make, an easy thing to do, is a makeup removal wipe. You know what I mean? It's the easiest, I feel like the easiest thing you can make um, in, 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 um, 
uh, when it comes to makeup removing is the wipes. So for him not to make it, it's weird. But the bomb looks cute. Um, everything looks like it smells delicious. He was like, oh my god. He was like, his eyes were along the back of his head. He was like, <gasps> like having an orgasm with all these scents. Like everything he was opening. It, it looked like it smelled really good. There was apple scent, strawberry, raspberry. He had all these ingredients. So listen, I guess this is all naturally different. Because there's so many skincare products on the market, right? So how is he going to be different? This is the thing. Like, when it comes to skincare... People are not going to indulge themselves in skincare. You know what I mean? There's great skincare in CVS. There's great skincare in all drugstores. Everywhere you look, there's skincare. So it's like, and there are affordable prices. So why would someone order something blindly offline that they don't know if it's going to work? They can't test it out in a store. And the price point, I'm sorry, Jeffrey, the price point is a little bit obnoxious. Like, I'm sorry, but like... You, you keep saying, oh, I'm making things for affordable prices. Um, it's not that affordable. Like, the makeup melt bomb was, like, I think $28. The moisture, what, moisturizer, I think, was 30 something I don't think anyone's really going to spend that much money on that type of shit when there's something right up the block at the drugstore. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, makeup is different. Makeup is something that drugstores, there's good drugstore makeup, but there, but I feel like makeup is more of a hot commodity where it's, like, if it's a really good product, people would pay extra for a makeup product. But when it comes to skincare, there are so many good skincare products at drugstores. You know what I mean? So, I feel like I don't see the point in getting the skincare. Just like Kylie, I don't see the point of doing that. I don't see the point of ordering something blindly offline like you'd be doing with Kylie as well. And you don't know if it's going to work. You don't know what it smells like. You don't know what it feels like. It's pretty pricey. And then you're going to have to pay for shipping and all that. So I am not a fan of the skincare right now. I mean, I'm not a fan of skincare to begin with. Like, I'm just very just, you know, with a makeup, I'll cake on a face. And I'll use every product under the sun. But with skincare, you know, I like my makeup remover stuff, of course. I like to remove my makeup at the end of the day. Um... I do use the Neutrogena Calming uh, Makeup Wipes, and then I use a Neutrogena Face Makeup Removal Wash that I use in the shower. So with those two things, it does get the makeup off, makeup off well. Um, I do feel like the makeup melt, or it's just something extra could be nice. Let's just remove everything. He was going step by step in his video. I do think that everything's overpriced. I think if he took out five dollars on each of the products, I feel like it would be more affordable prices. I don't know if it takes this much to make the products. This is the thing. If it's all natural ingredients, why would it take so much money to make a, um, a skincare product if it's all natural ingredients? You get what I'm saying? You just keep saying it's natural this, natural that. There's no super, no artificial stuff. So why is it taking so much to make a natural product? Because natural products are like, I feel like you can even make at home uh, with your own, you know, there's, I know people that make their own skincare at home. Like they just use, they take whatever they, they find, uh, oils or lotion and mix it all in a, in, a, in a thing. And then they put like maybe some other ingredients in it, like witch hazel, whatever. And then they mix it up and they make their own skincare. You know, there are people who do that. So... If you can do that, you know, without a charge, why would you pay this much for a skincare product that is supposed to be natural ingredients, is, but it's so expensive? I don't understand that. It shouldn't be that much hard to make if it's all natural stuff. If it's all organic. Like, you know... I don't know. I don't know. This is the thing, like, I guess skincare and makeup go hand in hand. So he knows what he's talking about. He's done a lot of, you know, facials and stuff reviews, stuff on his channel. But I don't know about this one. I don't know. I mean, I feel like, honestly, I think I like the Jefferson Pet stuff more because it was just so cute. You know what I mean? It was so cute. It was so different. I mean, of course, you can go to Petco and get shit for your pet down the block. But I feel like with, you know, with that, it was just so cute. Like, there was a, there, you know, you don't see, you know, little lipstick plushies for dogs at Petco. 
Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't see little pink star bowls to put your food and, and water into your dogs at Petco. You see, you know, it was cute. It was new. It was, it was Jeffrey. So I kind of like the Jeffrey stuff, pet stuff a little bit more. This, um... Again, I, I don't, I'm not getting anything. Like, I know I always say that and I end up getting something. The only thing I would get is the makeup melt. But I feel like there's not that much product in that thing. Like, it, it, I don't know. Like, it doesn't look that big of a jar where it's $28 worth of product. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, but, and then most of the stuff I don't use anyways. Like, that spray, I would never use that spray. Like, what is that spray even? Is that supposed to be an extra thing to, to moisturize your face with? Like, I don't understand that. Like, what's the point of this? I never understood the point of the spray, even the holy mist. Like, what is that? That's not a setting spray for your makeup. It's just what? It's supposed to refresh your face? What is it supposed to do to you? I, I never understood that. I don't know if it's supposed to be like, bring the Holy Spirit down to you. I don't know, like, what the hell that spray is going to do for you. Uh, I guess it's just supposed to add moisture to your face, but the thing is that I get oily easily. My skin gets oily easily, so that would not benefit for me at all. Moisturizers also don't benefit me at all because I might get oily skin, so that just does not benefit me. So there's no point in even getting that, even if I wanted it. Um, the eye cream... The eye cream seems cute, but again, that's like a little tube. I don't know, like, is that really going to do much? And then there was like a toner, which I would never use. And there was something else in like a, in like a kind of like a packaging like this, where it opens up like this and you squeeze it out. I don't know if I would use that either, to be honest with you. Um, the only thing I would use again is the makeup remover. But again, it's a little bit pricey for something that I don't know if it's gonna work. And I, I don't, I can't test it out in a store. And then I'm gonna also have to pay for shipping. And then I don't know if this stuff is going to be on Beautylish. Because I think only his makeup stuff is on Beautylish. I don't think his skincare would be on Beautylish. Which means that you would have to order Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And I don't like ordering on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I really don't. It takes forever to get to you. So, um, yeah. I mean, listen. I'm not for the skincare. I'm not, I'm not liking it. I don't, I think it's overpriced. I think, um, there's... It's really not, doesn't seem that also crazy amazing that you're going to have to, oh my god, go out and spend this money on this. Um, that's going to make it so different than something you can get right down the block at CVS. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's not that. I don't think, I don't think it's necessary. I really don't. Um, but everyone, a lot of people do have skincare products. You know, they, they I guess they do well because Kylie has a skincare uh, pro product. So a lot of celebrities that have skincare products, but most celebrities endorse themselves in other skincare products. Like I think, doesn't Jennifer Garner endorse herself in Neutrogena? And then I think, and I think also um, the girl from Friends, I forgot what her name, I'm drawing a blank about her name. The girl from Friends, one of the actresses from Friends, she also endorses in some other skincare products. So these people don't have their own skincare line. They endorse themselves in other skincare products. Um, with other skincare from, like, the drugstore. So, I guess there's not many celebrities or whatever that do a skincare line. So this is very ballsy of him to do. Um, that's why I think he is only coming out with seven products. Because he does not know if this is going to do well. I don't think it will. I really don't. But you never know. It might do well. Who knows? Um, I'm probably most likely not getting anything. Again, if I get anything, it will be the makeup remover melt. If I do, I will do a review on it. I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm going to wait until it comes out with makeup remover wipes. Because that I would get. I would buy that. Because I actually really like makeup remover wipes. I hope he doesn't price it too crazy. Because um, I really like makeup remover wipes a lot. I could just still use Neutrogena. But I don't mind branching out on a Neutro uh, on like a, a wipe. Because the wipes, you can't do wrong with the wipes. I mean, it's a wipe. You know what I mean? Like, how you can't mess that up. You simply cannot mess that up. You literally just put a wipe in it, in a nice packaging, pull out the wipe, wipe your face with it, that's it. I mean, you really can't mess up a, a makeup removal wipe formula. Deutrogena does have the best one so far that I've used, but it shouldn't be so difficult to make that. So I can't see that doing bad if he were to come out makeup, but makeup removal wipes, but he doesn't. That's why I find that weird. Why did you do that, Jeffrey? You should have came out makeup removal wipes, girl. It would have been really nice, you know? Um, I feel like 
the bomb is not enough. A lot of people don't use bombs to, to melt their makeup off. A lot of people use either wipes or face wash. They don't use a bomb from a jar. So, I don't know. I don't know, Jeffrey. I'm not that hyped about this. But it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the skincare down below. If you guys think um, it's worth it or what. I personally don't think it is. Um, the price points are a little. There is a bun there are bundle deals on the website, um, which I think which I think is a good idea to do bundles, but I still think the bundle deals um, isn't going to be something that's going to save him in, in the in the case of like it doing so well, because if people aren't going to really know what they're buying here, like let me try to look at the prices of the skin the Jeffrey Star skin. So everything's intertwined. He used that hot, sexy male model again, that, that one guy. He's so hot. Um, okay, so there's a strawberry water clarifying cleanser. That's the one I, I, I said that was that had packaging like this. Um, I don't know what that's supposed to do, but that's $28. You see, this is $28. This, I know it's not the same, but this is only like $15, and it looks like this has even more product than, than this clarifying cleanser. Now, I know it's a, two diff totally different products, but if a, a body cream is $15 at Bath & Body Works and this thing looks smaller and it's $28, there's not going to be that much product bang for your buck. I don't know. Yeah, that's really overpriced. Let me see how much the moisturizer. Oh, there was a lip mask too. A lip mask, which again, a lip mask is, what does that do? Is that supposed to be a chapstick? I mean... Everyone has millions of chapsticks, so I don't know what a lip mask will do that's different than a chapstick. Let me see the moisturizer. So the moisturizer is $28. So most of the stuff is like in the $28 realm. Not horrible, but still could have been... Like, I feel like the moisturizer could have been $22 or something. I feel like... Let me see what the eye cream is, because there's like no problem. $24 for an eye cream? That could have at least been $15, $16. Yeah, because that's a really small. So yeah, I mean, it's the prices are crazy. Um, they're not affordable prices. Um, everyone's skin looks amazing in the campaign, but again, this can all be airbrushed and um, edited for it. Because a lot of people, you know, that's what photos are for for tutorials. They edit out a lot and they edit the blemishes out and stuff. So that also could be the case. Whatever it is, what it is. Um, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, let me know what you think of Jeffrey's skin. See you in the next one. Bye.